Greg. We're seeing you again this week. More good news. Did I read this news release properly? Zentech now has Zen Armor. Yes, we do, Tracy. Good morning. Nice, nice to see you. Yes, uh, this is uh, a technology we have been working on for almost two years. Uh, it's something that we've uh, flown under the radar for that time. We wanted to make sure that uh, we got the intellectual property protected. We wanted to have the technology third-party validated before we announced it to the market, but it is an anti-corrosion coating that we've developed. So again, our research and development team, our, our scientists have absolutely knocked it out of the ballpark. I uh, continue to be amazed by these guys every day, uh, just the things that they're working on and they come up with. And Zen Armor is the latest uh, uh, arrow in our quiver. All right, so now I'm gonna ask the questions that some people out there are going, oh, I don't wanna ask this question. It doesn't sound smart enough. But can you dumb this down a little bit? What does this do? To walk us through it, please. Sure. So uh, Zen Armor is designed to go into an existing system, an existing paint system. So it's an additive. And we put this additive into an existing paint system, and it improves the antioxidation properties of that system. So it doesn't allow the underlying substrate that it's coating to start rusting, or it takes a much longer time for that underlying substrate to start rusting. One of the big issues in the marketplace currently is that existing anti-corrosive systems break down and the solids in those systems leach into the environment and they can be hazardous. Because we're dealing at the nanoscale again, and this is the power of graphene and nanotechnology, we use 1% of the solids relative to an existing paint system. And we are getting performance, as we said in our news release this morning, we have tested this for 1,500 hours in a salt spray uh, ASTM certified uh, testing rig, where they basically spray a 5% saline solution on a plate at 50 degrees C for 500 hours, 1,000 hours. We've just crossed the 1,500 hour mark, and that is substantial because the best systems currently on the market start breaking down after a thousand hours. We're testing ours alongside the best in the market. The best in the market started to break down. Ours is still going strong at 1500 hours and counting. So you can see why this could, has the potential to be a game changing technology in the corrosion industry. The corrosion industry, the US spends up upwards of $450 billion a year on anti-corrosion products. The U.S. Department of Defense alone spends $22 billion, and in Canada, it's $63 billion. And I wanted to give you those numbers just to give you a sense of how large this potential market is. And as, as, as someone in the military said, their top three priorities are one is corrosion, two is corrosion, and three is corrosion. It's a big problem, and Zentech has a solution that uh, is going to be, we think, play a, play a potential role in this going forward. Mind-blowing to the market. Uh, I'm, I'm misty-eyed with the commercial applications are <laughs> existential, what you can do with this. So what's our timeline for, for Zentech shareholders being able to, to share that joy? Because this just sounds extraordinary. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good question, Tracy. As I said, uh, this has been third-party validated. So we've had two independent companies now test this, one in the automotive space and, and one in the specialty uh, paint system space. We've just been awarded uh, an ISC challenge through the government of Canada. Uh, it's a call, military call for proposals. Uh, we were successful in this, similar to how we developed the HVAC product. This will be developed in the aviation space, in the marine space, and in the uh, uh, basically the civilian space, so testing it on bridges as well. That testing will begin a little bit later in the spring, and we hope to have all the results within about six to nine months. So once we have all of that data, 
then there isn't the same regulatory process to go through. Once we've proven up the data, then we can go to market with our product. So I have to ask the obvious question, critical minerals <laughs> with the backbone of your technology, do you have enough of the graphene to, uh, to facilitate the potential demand you've got here? Are you considering that at this time? We are, Tracy. Uh, we we uh, took some proactive steps a little over a year ago where we actually bought a very large uh, supply of graphene oxide that will uh, assist us in the ramp up as we as we start to produce more of our graphene oxide based products. Uh, we do have relationships with a number of suppliers, and it is a, a uh, input that we will be looking to vertically integrate at some point in the near future as well. So we'll, we will have no risk to supply chains going forward. Absolutely extraordinary. Greg, I'm so delighted that you came on Investor Intel to share more of this just great news coming from Zentech. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.